The Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review is brought to you by... Watchtower movie review. Movie review. Brought to you by Game the Game Store and More in Marion, North Carolina. The Game Store and More in Marion, North Carolina. Game Store and More in Marion, North Carolina. Man, I said donors. They don't even exist anymore, do they? I don't know. I haven't heard of them in years, so well, let's. <laughs> I don't know, man, but they just, uh, you know, uh, Woo! Do not go in there! <laughs> what are we not going in there? Yes, we are going there. Where are we going to? We're going to... Ace Ventura. Pet Ace Detective. Ventura Pet Detective. All right, straight up, when this movie came out in the 90s, my mom didn't really want me to see it. <laughs> like, she... God love my mother. I mean, she she let me watch a lot of stuff. You know, opened my eyes to a lot of films and things. But this right here was one that she just did not like. But I thought it was funny when I first saw it. I, I laughed. My when it off. came out, I was like, Nah, I can't see it. But I was I was in actually in comic book art school, and my instructor said, "Dude, you got to go watch it." Yeah, you know, like he said, "You got to watch it." He said, "Go rent it, go watch it," and I'm like. I did, and I laughed so hard because I mean it's made to be funny. It's made to be like a stupid funny. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, it had there's some pretty with, smart and, th gags in it. I mean, and you know, I mean, because you had Jim Carrey, Courtney Cox, and, and uh, Sean Young. Sean Young. Um, um, Dan Marino is in. I mean, Dolphin and Man. And I'm sitting there with like, yeah, and of course, you know, the Snowflake, the Dolphin from the Miami yeah, Dolphin, and then and I mean. It's, and, and also, you have a lot of character actors that appear in tons of films, of course. But Jim's Jim Carrey's performance as Ace Ventura, I mean, this is at the golden age of Jim Carrey being funny. Being funny. I mean, and, 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 because, I mean, I guess it because when, when Part 2 came out, I wasn't impressed with Part 2. This one, the the, the original, one is was the best. Exactly, I mean, exactly. And I mean, and, and, and that's like, the thing. I mean, he, he's so rubbery. Rubbery and spandex. I mean... He reminds me a lot of Frank Dorshin as the Riddler. Just his right. mannerisms and his I movement. guess that's why he got the part after. Exa exactly. As but, the but you could tell that he was very movable. And he could do a lot of things facially. And also just... This is why he carried, carried out everything that needed to be done yeah. to, to get to that point. Exactly. And he took a character that basically you could read this character off the page. And you're kind of like, eh, he's kind of a weird guy. But then you see Jim do it. And it's like... That's funny. Yeah, and I mean, it's because I mean, I'm sitting here to the whole plot, you know, and you're looking at it. And it does have a plot. And, and you're like, this is. Uh, where, where he takes it is like, you know, he's got to say, uh, this is the only thing I want to, to say to is, is he's assigned to, to find the Miami Dolphin. Um, yeah, mascot, which was Snowflake, and, the actual dolphin, because and, and, they're getting ready to go to the Super Bowl. If they don't have the dolphin, they're it's kind of bad lose. luck. Yeah, so and yeah, also, he doesn't get a lot of respect from his peers at the police department and things like that. Well, he's he, a pet detective. He's a he's a detective, you know, as far as 
he's not actually a certified detective. Yeah. He just goes out and finds animals, so he calls himself a pet detective. Yeah, but at the same token, and the he cops, actually outsmarts the cops the quite cops, a bit. Yeah, the cops give him, give him a hard time and stuff. And of course, his reactions back to him and everything that he does. And of course, he gets the he gets the uh, uh, the hard time from the the police lieutenant, yeah. uh, which is played by by Sean Young. And then, of course, you know, we've seen her in, in some major film stuff. But when you see what happens with her, though, you're like... Well, we're not giving that away. You'll see those little motions in there what goes on with that. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. It's funny yeah. how he does that. Like I say, he pulls that off so well with his little, the comedian stuff with it. he does with that in the bathroom. Uh Clean, trying to clean his mouth up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that's just crazy. Uh, and and yeah, also, that's the thing. I mean, he does so many great reactions and great turns with everything. Well, the whole movie's got to, and, like I said, and, something and, happens every time, every time he turns around. Like, I mean, I love how as he goes along and the story unravels itself, he he's not afraid to do what he has to do. Well, and... No. and and, and the thing, but this one, like I gotta say, because to see him go through some of the stuff that he puts himself through in this movie, I mean, he's dragged through water. He's, I mean, he does all kinds. He has of to stuff, play a uh, mental just, patient from. Yeah. And I, I, that is probably the funniest all right, all right, part. In straight the up, whole what movie. other actor can pull that off? Very, there is not Jim Varney. Jim Varney, maybe. Because think about that: the characters but, Jim Varney played. A lot of times, Jim Carrey kind of does a lot of the same things. But with with, with Varney, it, it, it's two two different two different sides there. And, yeah. and I mean, with Jim Varney, his facial expression gives him away most times. He's like, man, my baby. I mean, his and that's and I gotta say that with with Jim Carrey, he does the same thing, but he doesn't take it to that extreme. Yeah, yeah, time. he doesn't take it to the but extreme. He does, but he does take it there, and he'll take it to that point where it's got to go to. Like he'll take it to that character. point of going up to the mountain and getting right to the edge, but not completely yeah, falling I mean, off. For instance, because you look at it when he does the mask. Yeah. He I mean, doesn't take it over the top. He just goes to that like point. Like when he's Stanley the, Ipkiss. Or even the Riddler. Yeah, like or when he he's Stanley started. Ipkiss, he's Stanley Ipkiss. When he's the mask, he's the mask. Yeah, so he never when, lets the two breach. So when you see him doing his other. facial expressions, it's he it doesn't take it like, like I said. Jim Barney. The reason Jim Barney gets away with it because he's classical Jim Barney. He's a cartoon. He started, he he's a cartoon. He's a, cartoon. He's he's a, cartoon. a living cartoon. He is a living cartoon. Or Jim Carrey, basically, he can be a living cartoon. He can be that cartoon, but he doesn't go that far as to run through the wall and, and be the. Yeah, exactly, so, exactly. So and I mean, because he doesn't see him, and he knows that, and that's why he plays it for. I mean, and, it's, it's, it, this isn't the Jim Carrey of today. Yes, this is no, the old Jim Carrey. Yeah, this is the Jim Carrey uh, that and, and kind of started say, it all on that uh, sense of comedy. Yeah, because he was with was it Saturday Night Live, uh, uh, Living uh, Color, Living Color. He was uh, he was like the one, not getting racist here. He was like the one white guy in Living Color, uh, <laughs> uh, and he did so well with Living Color, and then he did he did Fire with Bill. Yeah. Was one of the jokes, that's the thing. But I'm looking at this as, okay, like I said, I didn't, I was sort of, because I didn't know at the time, I didn't know who Jim Carrey was. I mean, this was back in the early 90s. I just come out of military. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have time to go. And I'm like, and, and, and like I said, my, uh, I was in at the class for, uh, for drawing comic books and stuff, and my instructor said, "Dude, you gotta watch. You gotta go watch it." And so I did, and I watched, it, and I laughed. I even went out and bought a copy of after after I got. It. And, and I gotta say, it's to me this is one of his Jim Carrey's best movies. I mean, because look at me, myself, and Iron. Great movie. Yeah. But again, he plays a different part. Liar, liar. Plays liar, a liar. Plays, plays a different, different, different part, part, and he paid. Um, He's a great performer of what that part he plays. I think once he did Man in the Moon and everything after that, he kind of just... Yeah. Well, I don't want to... Like yeah. I said, I don't know what, because he does his own stuff. thing. He does his own thing. That's a good thing, man. Be yourself. You know? But, um, but I got to say, for the movie itself, when I'm sitting here and I'm thinking stuff, I mean, there's so many, so many things that are so funny 
in the scenes that are so funny. I mean, at one time I used to can quote all of, it's like Major Pain. Yeah. I love Major Pain. Damn it, I could quote that whole movie. This at one time I could have quoted the whole movie because exactly. I mean, it was just funny. Um, and, I, and and I'm trying to get back because that was one of the good the good years where ooh, no stress. But I just laughed. laugh and I I guess just want to get yeah. back to. Uh, but Jim Carrey, I gotta say again, great movie. Rent it and watch it. You gonna say, well that's a snap. I've been called that's a stupid movie. Why you always watch a stupid movie? It's a stupid funny movie. Exactly. It's okay it's to funny. be stupid and funny. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to laugh, people. It's laugh. Okay. laugh. <laughs> and yes, okay, this is before being politically correct is okay, is wrong. Yeah. Or okay. Fine, so, whatever. Laugh at it. Laugh. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, all right, as far as entertainment goes. Let's go. Five stars for entertainment. What are you going to give it? Five. You're going to give it five. I'm going to give it five, too, like I said. I laughed so hard. All right. I mean... From beginning to end. And, oh, yeah. From beginning to end, I was laughing from beginning to end. You gotta understand, because this, when I first saw this, oh, it's around, sure real friendly around here. <laughs> when I first saw this, this was right around that era when Beavis and Butthead came out, Ren and Stimpy came out, then you had Ace Ventura. You know what? Ace Ventura did all of them. Exactly. He did. Yeah, just, he did. But this was around that time period when stupid, funny, was like the thing. I mean, yeah. it, it was okay well, to be immature and stupid. And I like what happened to my cartoons, man. Now I got this cat dog or this. Yeah, okay. Thing. I loved, and, and I'm going to put so, this out. I loved Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> yeah, M2E with Beavis and Butthead. I mean, there's some other stuff, but some of them, they got like stupid, crazy to it. Okay. 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 All right. So we got five stars apiece for. All right. For uh, entertainment, but, but uh, for uh, accuracy, accuracy, you can't get more action than being right there I on mean, the stadium. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure <laughs> you know. I mean, it wouldn't <laughs> Miami Dolphin Stadium. So I, I mean, mean, but I mean, as far as accuracy, it's, it's a comedy. Record, I mean, comedy, and it is a little over the top, but it's okay. There's over the top characters out there to this day. Uh, I'm standing next I, to one. <laughs> there you go, uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's, let's let's all get the pitch in, man. Uh, what time is it? <sighs> uh, no, but I'm serious. But on the same note, I mean, I have to look at it as, as far as the seriousness of thing. And they took something that actually happens at times with animals being kidnapped. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, yeah, I mean and they took a good, and it was and, good. But I had to get and and actually, to now being a pet detective is actually considered a profession, a, profession. a, a legal profession. And you now. go out and you get certified for it now. Exactly. So, Back then, it was you know, it was just a, yeah, just go do it for. There's a kid like a kid going, hey, let's be detectives and go find lost dogs or lost cats. You know, I mean, yeah, yeah. So I mean, but now, popcorn mayo. It's a 10. It's a 10. It is it a 10? It's a 10. It's a 10. It's a 10. I'm going to give it a 10 as well. Like I said, there's some Jim Carrey movies I just don't like, but this one I love because it kept me laughing. If you can make me laugh, oh, you got me. And this. And I mean, and, and, and I'm not opposed to him being a serious actor. No, no I'm not going to do that. And, just, and, and, and what I mean by that is Majestic. That's one of my favorite films that I he does. I think that's the one. So. Majestic is one of my favorite films that he does because it's a time period piece. And that's fine, and that's okay. Like I said, part two, I couldn't. Uh, uh, but but like anyway, this one was great. So I'm going to give it a 10 as well because it made me laugh. Exactly. I was laughing from the beginning to the end. When you got when you got scenes that, that you can remember because you laughed so hard. One of my favorite good. scenes to this I, day. I, Watch. Okay, now. <laughs> bye bye then. Okay, now. Bye bye then. Right. So, for myself, Dale McCoy, Nick Rivers. Nick Rivers. I'm going to give you a shout out. Rivers. Love. Peace and chicken, chicken grease. Food. We're out of here. Okay, now. Bye bye then. Bye bye then. You want to do that reverse?